So we're going to show you how to abort a long running REST call. So when I click this button, I'm calling a REST service, which takes quite a long time, about three seconds, and then it returns the results over here. So what happens if I have such a long running REST call and I want to cancel it mid run? This is what this abort button does. So let's call the REST service and then abort it. Okay, you can see the aborted message over here. In the network tab, you can also see that the call was canceled. So this is the functionality. And again, if I just press the button without clicking the abort, it's gonna again execute the REST service and get me the results. All right, so let's see how to achieve this functionality. Here's our application, the two buttons. The first thing you need to do is actually at the application level, you need to define several things. You're going to use a little bit of JavaScript we have two methods here. The first one is called create abort controller and it returns an object of type abort controller, a new one. And the second one is the one that actually aborts a request and it basically invokes the abort method on an abort controller that it gets as a parameter. So those are the two methods at the application level. Then we have um, a variable that we defined here. Um, this variable is of type any, we called it the abort controller, and this would hold the pointer to the abort controller we're using in our application. We're going to um, create this abort controller in an event that we have in our page. Um, we have the vbenter event on our application. When we enter the application, we're calling the module function for creating an abort controller. That's the JavaScript method we saw before using this call.js method. And then we're taking the return value from it and assigning it to the variable we define. So whatever we return from this method, we assign over to the variable. So now the variable holds a pointer to this type of controller. Now we can go back to our page. In our page, we have a button over here that calls the REST service. Okay, let's look at the action that is associated with that. It's basically calling the REST service over here, okay, and then um, shows us the success or the failure. So what you need to do is you need to associate your abort controller with this REST call. Now, unfortunately, you can't do it right now in the design time, but you can do it in here over in the JSON definition. So this is our call to the REST action. This is the service we're calling, and we just added one line here that points to the signal and sets it to point to the abort controller that we have in our variable at the application level. So we are associating our abort controller with this REST call. So this is what the call REST service does. Then we have the abort button. The abort button again has an event behind it. And if we look at the event, what it does here is it's calling the JavaScript method at the application level for aborting the request. Okay, so because we have um, in our abort controller that we map here as an input parameter, the variable, we map it over here, we know which REST call we're calling and we're aborting it. Once we abort it, we need to reset things. So let's again call the create action, create abort controller to create a new one and assign the new one to our abort controller application level variable. And then I'm showing here a notification saying this was aborted. And that's all you need to do.